Hey everybody, and welcome to TK's Musion Saturday Slam Fest, episode 65, for April 29th, 2017. Today's 1v1 Bonanza opens up with Shadow of the Beast's Arbron. He's been on quite a roll so far, bashing through each and every opponent thrown his way. However, the grass-fighting Pokemon Breloom is looking to spore him down and seed-bomb him into oblivion after failing to avoid Rock's fiery fists. He could turn that negative energy into more fuel to push towards a much-needed W. As we go to a random stage, hope you all enjoy! Come on, Brewloom! Smother Arbron with your mushroom cap into submission! Arbron versus Brewloom. This should be a fun little scuffle. Engage! Here we go! Alright, Arbron gets knocked back by Brewloom Sky Uppercut. Arbron missed a jump kick. It's Vine whipped out of the air. And now Arbron kind of doing a little head dance there. Turns around for some laser bolts. Brewloom taking the shot. Tries to come back at him with the Vine punches. Arbron trying to tech towards a big power punch. Blasting Brewloom. Now Arbron trying to get in with the laser bolts from his gun. And Brewloom blocking that. Tries to counter attack. Now a death skeleton summon following the power punch from Arbron. And now a flame wave going along the ground. And a demon summon coming out. Arbron trying to tank Brewloom in the corner with that power punch. Now the demon starts claw swiping Brewloom. Brewloom managing to tech most of it though. And now the vine shot from the ground catches Brewloom. Power punch laying into Brewloom now. And now Arbron spamming that power punch more. Ends up slamming Brewloom right into that vine shot along the ground. Now more laser bolts. Wish the power punch there. Goes for more laser bolts from his gun. Teleports in. Brewloom trying to block the flame wave coming in too. And Arbron's power punch and the laser bolts from his gun. Arbron using everything in his arsenal to chip away at Brewloom here who's stuck in the corner. Can't do anything. Arbron trying to space with the power punch and the laser bolts from his gun. And Arbron still swinging his fist around, trying to chip away at Brulum, unable to get through his defense right now. Brulum still trying to block all the laser bolts from the cannon, and Arbron still trying to power punch, goes for the flamethrower special, ends up whiffing that. Now the death skeleton summon going right through Brulum here, chips away at his defense a little bit. Now Arbron still going at him with the laser bolts from his gun, teleports in, Brulum still on the defensive. Brulum, you gotta get out of the corner. Tanking Arbron all day is not the way to go here, and Arbron just still jotting back and forth, goes for another power punch. Brulum nearly dead, and the laser bolt rips through his defenses. Man, a slow and steady death for Brulum in the corner of round one. He needed to get out and do something. Round two, let's see if Brulum can bring it harder. All right, Sark gets a low stop right to a back body drop, flinging Arbron. Now Arbron going for two spots, three spots. What the hell is he going for? Teleports in behind Brulum. That goes for multiple death skeleton summons, but Brulum blocks most of them nicely. Arbron missed the power punch and the laser bolts from his gun. Brulum trying to tech the hits and try to get in on Arbron, not having much luck. And a low power punch catching Brulum. Oh, right to those multiple vine stabs from the ground. Now let's see Arbron teleports behind Brulum, gets away. Missed Missed the power punch. Now fires off some laser bolts from his gun. Another death skeleton summon. But Brulum blocking that nicely. Arbron gets up with the power punch. Brulum still taking chip damage here. He needs to make some. Oh man, flamethrower whiff from Arbron. Brulum couldn't capitalize. Ends up taking that energy wave and the laser bolt. Now Brulum finally getting some momentum. Some vine shots. Ends up taking Arbron's punch, but the energy wave catches him right to that laser bolt from his gun. Now Brulum trying to chase something together. Vine shot knocks him back. Brulum takes that laser bolt. Gets hit by the next one though. Leaps over Arbron. Vine shot knocks Brulum across the stage. Now Brulum coming back with a vine claw shot. Ends up Reeling in Arbron, tries to do some damage, chips away at him, Arbron down to half, back body jump, throw for Brulum right to the sky uppercut, and now Brulum power punch across the stage into the corner, now Arbron trying to fire off a low power punch, Vine shot, gets it back, another power punch to his grill, sky uppercut for Brulum, Brulum trying to attack Arbron from behind now, Arbron with the multi-hit power punch takes him out barely. And Arbron secures another rather impressive 2-0 win, this time over the grass fighting type Pokemon. And Breloom actually put up a much better fight this time around in Season 2, but he still falls short of a round win. Not good. But at least Breloom's performance was somewhat better here. I just hope he could get a win at some point this season. And Arbron managing to keep his newfound streak alive. I honestly don't know if Arbron's been winning non-stop. I'll have to check his records again. I haven't really been keeping tabs on him. He's kind of a dark horse in singles, but he's been winning most of his fights, though. And Arbron may be one to watch out for, because he's slowly but surely creeping up behind all the badasses. And if they're not careful, he could surpass them. So far, Shadow of the Beast being represented quite well by Arbron. I hope he can keep it up for the rest of Season 2. And Berlou, make your comeback at some point, please. With that being said, folks, I'm going to prepare. I'm going to get a nice ice-cold drink of water, because my throat is getting kind of sore. So I can get myself ready for the next single set, which could be just as daunting. Be right back, all.
Howdy, peeps, and welcome back for more Saturday Slamfest Smackdowns. Serving up the next slice of singles, we have Legacy of Kane's Raziel, who will be pushing his Soul Reaver to new heights against the heavy artillery of Metal Gear's Liquid Snake. Two PlayStation Punishers going head-to-head. -head. This should be an amazing encounter. Both are doing quite well so far, but this major could really propel one of them further up the ladder. Who will take initiative and see this fight through to the end in one piece? Random Stage, let us know right now. Hope you all enjoy! The Soul Reaver vs. the Heavy Artillery of Liquid Snake Bazookas, Machine Guns, and Sheep, a Helicopter, oh man! This should be intense! Raziel and Liquid Snake on a brand new wrestling ring stage that I picked up. Let's get ready to kick butt, engage, here we go. Alright, Raziel starts with a Soul Reaver, she just slammed the Liquid, starts getting him with the Soul Reaver, Jabs Liquid trying to block him now. Now Raziel gets a nice Soul Reaver, slam the Liquid, knocks him deep into the corner now. Now they have Liquid getting stuck there, Raziel slamming up with another Soul Reaver strike. Now a nice reverse body slam from Liquid right to that explosive grenade. Now a nice headbutt catching Raziel, who rolls into another headbutt by Liquid following the explosive. Now Raziel trying to fight out, gets behind Liquid, gets the Soul Reaver jab string on him, slams him right to the corner, following an aerial Soul Reaver strike. Now Liquid gets slammed by another Soul Reaver jab block. Oh boy, now Liquid getting juggled. This is bad. He better escape that corner. Raziel punishes him with a sidekick as he lands. Liquid misses the sidekick, gets behind him, misses the shoulder tackle. Now gets a nice kick string off. Right into that machine gun, starts rattling off tons of bullets, catching Raziel out of the air nicely. Now Raziel gets a Soul Reaver strike from the air. Oh boy, Raziel going for a aura burst, slams Liquid to his demise. Raziel secures the safety net with round one. Round two. Come on, Liquid, gun your way out of this predicament. All right, Raziel with the Soul Reaver Slam. Now Liquid gets a nice slide kick to an uppercut to a round string. Now Raziel with the Soul Reaver Slam catches Liquid right out of the air with that one. Now Raziel going back on him with the Soul Reaver Strikes. Liquid breaks it up with the shoulder tackle. Now starts pistol whipping him. Goes for a stun grenade. Oh, Raziel going for aura first. Catches Liquid for about a fourth of his health. Now blocks that Soul Reaver Strike. Man, slide kick to the uppercut to the rounds. Now pistol whip. Now Liquid trying to close him. Mr. Stun Grenade gets the second one off. Starts pistol whipping him right in the gut. Now another stun grenade. Raziel using the white screen to block it now. Liquid getting in with some side kicks. Try to approach Raziel, cuts through the light screen, now starts gunning him from his jeep, runs the jeep into him, does about a third of, about a fourth of himself. Now Liquid gets up the side kick, right to that grabbing headbutt, into the explosive. Now Raziel goes for an arm first, does another th does another fourth of his health. Now Liquid trying to get up the side kick to the uppercut to the jumping rouse kick. Now Liquid blocks that, oh, Soul Reaver strike. Now Liquid trying to get in, throws a stun grenade, Raziel loops high into the air, Liquid rolling in, side kick to the uppercut to the jumping rouse kick, there he goes. And Liquid manages to obtain the round two win! Man, this is pretty good so far. Very back and forth. And now we are going to a round three finale. In cage, who will take this major? All right, so explosive weight. Looks like Liquid misses up the cut. Now Razzy goes for the aura burst. Unfortunately, misses it, though. That's the, oh, man, Liquid with a nice jump kick chain. That's the Soul Reaver blocked by Liquid who tries to get in. And let's see, now Raziel takes the air, Mr. Soul Reaver Slam, Liquid missed that uppercut, now Raziel cutting through him, now let's see, a start grenade, catches them right to that pistol, with Raziel knocked down, now Raziel leaps into the air, tries to dodge the jeep, ends up running Raziel down for about a fourth of his health, now Aura Burst, launching Liquid, very back and forth still, Raziel gets a Soul Reaver Slam, uppercut right to that jumping roundhouse kick, pistol whip, Raziel blocking that, oh, gets a counter sweep kick off on Liquid, now Liquid trying to get his spacing right, oh, now Raziel getting in with the Soul Reaver gems, Liquid pinned on the top rope, there he goes, gets swiped down, now Lick Liquid gets a psychic to the uppercut to the jumping grass kick. Man, both competitors still keeping it close here. Liquid slammed down, and Raziel gets a sweep kick, catching him off guard. Yes, now Liquid gets a side kick, uppercut to the red house. Uh, now Raziel going crazy with the Soul Reaver gems, doing some chip damage, catches Liquid. Now gets the Soul Reaver gems off of Liquid. There he goes! Damn, very back and forth superset. I really could not say who was going to win this, but Raziel manages to outlast Liquid Snake and his arsenal 2-1. Your sword is mine. I don't know if Raziel sounds like that. I could be wrong. <laughs> I haven't heard his voice actor in God knows how long. But damn, very ferocious fight between Liquid Snake and Raziel. Probably one of the best single sets of this season so far, I gotta say. All three rounds pretty tight. Could have gone either way, honestly. I mean, even though Liquid's been losing most of this season, he's, I mean, he's been putting on some classics, first with Maharo and now with Raziel. Phenomenal opponent and fighter. I mean, I'm sure Liquid's going to recover quickly from this. Even if he's losing, he's still really, really pushing everybody. So I cannot get mad at him one bit. I just hope he can win one of these. He's fighting really hard. He's fighting like it's his last battle. And same with Raziel. He's been up in his intensity ever since that Kratos match. So good for him. 
Alrighty, folks. Hell of a way to end singles here, I must say. Anyways, we'll dive into doubles momentarily and see what we find there. Anyways, be right back and give my voice a break and get a drink of water. BRB all. Alrighty, Roo. Time to pop open the dubs bub for this weekend and see what we got. First up, it's Team Primal Rage with Chaos and Sauron. Sadly, they just haven't been able to hit their true potential. Season 1, they got overwhelmed by virtually every opponent in 3v3. Season 2 began with them getting skewered and mashed by Nightman's Mace and Centaur Man's Spear 2-0. They really need to get a match win under their belt, and perhaps an AI boost for the future, as any momentum could turn the tide for them. Same could be said for their opponent's Team MLP's Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. The ponies just haven't been living up to their Moku intensity lately. Apparently, Dark Samus and Ridley scared the offense out of them, and boy, did they ever take advantage of that. They better be wide awake for this angry ape and diabolical Dino, or they could be in for another humiliating defeat. As we scurry over to a random stage, hope you all enjoy! A win is vital for both struggling teams right now. Who will pick it up today? Team Primal Rage! Team MLP! And a second Sauron just got stopped by Chaos Eek! Engage! Here we go! Alright, Chaos greeting them with the aerial elbow! Now Rainbow Dash charges into a Sauron fight! Puke shot to the back of Rainbow Dash! Man, Sauron and Chaos just sandwiching Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy! Kinda hanging back! She better get in there! As he Rainbow Dash headed for a flip cake! Now Chaos knocked out of the air! Oh my god, now the ponies have him real in here! Chaos trying to leap in! And Sauron unloading that tail shot to the back of Fluttershy! Starts biting her from behind! Now Rainbow Dash trying to sandwich Chaos! Chaos getting juggled! And now Sauron biting her away! Lightning bolt from that, from that storm cloud! Now Chaos charging up! Aura was like got knocked out of it. Oh boy, now Sauron with the aura burst knocks Fluttershy down. Really, like Rainbow Dash dead. Now Chaos and Sauron sandwiching Fluttershy. Now Chaos going for a hammer arm, goes for a big green toxic fart. Aura Field launches her. Wowzers, Primal Rage actually get a round win here over the ponies. Can they do it again in round two and get a first win? I hope. Well, the ponies first at the three. Shoulder tackle from Chaos. Now Sauron will look aside. Glass. Man, they are sandwiching Fluttershy hard. Big shoulder tackle to a big uppercut. Rainbow Dash trying to save her. Tail shots from Sauron. Now Chaos gets it. Big cannonball. Man, Fluttershy nearly dead here. Oh, point. ponies bringing it back. Fluttershy getting that bicycle kick juggle. Not letting them escape. Oh, boy. Now Sauron and Chaos in deep trouble here. Getting Joe and Chaos trying to get a fist through. Oh, that's a flowing point. Oh, big Rainbow Boom for Rainbow Dash! Ponies bringing it back here! Oh boy, Rainbow Dash with a big aerial! Now what's going on? A big bear summon! And Chaos and Sora nearly dead here! And they're getting Cobble Horde! And the ponies do bring it back somehow! God, those aerials are vicious! Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy make a comeback, and we are going to an unexpected round three. Let's see who takes it. Big shoulder tackle start from Chaos, but now Sauron leaps in with the jump kick. Now Chaos unloading those hammer arms. Big toxic fart hitting both ponies. Now Chaos clubbing them from behind. As he gets an aerial elbow to the hammer arm, right to that toxic vomit. Ends up catching Rainbow Dash good. Now Fluttershy getting pounded on. Big shoulder tackle. Oh boy, it's like Sauron getting juggled. Like broke out. Sonic wave shot from, from Sauron. Looks like Fluttershy's down. Or a burst from Sauron takes out Rainbow Dash. Ladies and gents, Primal Rage have secured their first doubles win on my new series 2-1 over Team MLP's Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. A killer is the crap really use indeed. I don't know if that's what an angry ape sounds like, but I did my best impression. And an unexpected round three and an unexpected winner with Primal Rage here. I honestly expected the ponies to destroy them, considering how slow they were, but... Primal Rage, with their massive brute force, actually managed to do better than the ponies' speed in comboing. When the ponies stayed on them completely, they couldn't do nothing, but they couldn't get their synergy together in round three, and that played well into Sauron and Chaos's hand, and they managed to ab abuse their reckless power. And congrats to this Primal Rage team. They really needed a win, and I'm happy they got one. So now they got themselves some legitimacy. I hope they could build on this win and go for bigger, better ones later. Hey, it's a start at least, and I'm happy for them. And poor Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. I mean, even though they did have a better match this time around, as last time they got completely curb stomped by Dark Samus and Ridley, at least they put up way more resistance against Primal Rage, so they're going in the right direction. I just hope they can complement it with a win in their next set. Alrighty, folks. I'm going to go prepare myself for doubles number two, because that could be just as intense coming up, so I'm going to get a drink and ready myself. Be right back in a few, folks. 
Hi! Is back and ready for more death defying doubles with episode 65. Next in action for the left corner, we have Team Ninja Guidance, Ryu Hayabusa, and Jay Ignis. They are coming off a disappointing heartbreaker to Samurai Shodown's Hallmaru and Genjiro, but they have another major opportunity coming their way with the Boss Street Fighters, Orochi Vega, and Balrog. I expect a fantastic fight from start to finish between these four foes. The range game definitely favors the ninjas, while the close combat leans on the side of the mass feed and the burly boxer. Who will take command of the stage with their respective spacing? Random stage decide this outcome. Hope you all enjoy. I expect a major matchup from all four performers. Please do not disappoint, guys. Come on. Team Ninja Gaiden, Team Street Fighter, on the Lucha Underground stage. This should be exciting. Engage, here we go. High OV starts with a little close strike. Ignis breaking it up. Chain Blade from Ryu Dutch Ball Rock back. Head OV. Ignis spamming the mini shurikens. Hits again. Ryu spamming the flame shurikens now. Ignis gets a nice sword uppercut counter. Now Ryu spacing. Gets out. Gets knocked out of a super fist special. Ignis gets caught by Ball Rock's fist. Now Ryu go for another special. Lands a super fist on Ball Rock. Ignis spacing with the mini shurikens. Starts butchering OV. Ball Rock with the shoulder tackle breaking it up. Oh, oh man. Lightning bolt nearly takes Ryu out. The Ball Rock dropped. And the Ninja, and the ninja Dark from OV take Ryu out. It's down to Ignis and OV. Let's see, Ignis trying to get in on Orochi Vega. Oh, Stun Grenade knocks him out of that. Knocks him out of that lightning bolt. Now let's see, Ignis going for the Ninja Dark. Whoa! Man, we damn near had a double KO there. But Ignis barely hangs on in round one. That could be vital. Round two, let's see if Street Fighter can bring it back to a three. Borog with the uppercut. Ryu breaks it up with a chain sweep kick and a chain blade. Hits both OV and Borog. Ignis spacing with the mini shurikens. Ryu spacing space with the flame shurikens. Borog trying to get in with his jabs. Ends up slamming Ignis. OV gets in with the paralyzing claw. Hits both ninjas, allowing Borog to go in full mode here. Does the OV miss that German? Gets body slammed. Looks like Ryu dead already. Borog with the shoulder tackle. Ignis body slams OV, but Borog blustering her with those big, brutal fists. There she goes. I am and Street Fighter roar right back into this, securing round two, and we are going into a round three, another one, here we go! Ryu gets caught out of his jump kick into a German by OV, paralyzing claw, as the, oh, the OV missed that aerial claw dive, Ryu frozen in midair, goes for the thunder claw, blasts both ninjas up in the air, Ignis raining down with a jump kick, both ninjas getting green and bad in the corner, Ryu going for a super cyclone special, gets both Street Fighters good, OV teleporting in, now Ignis greeting him with a big, with a mini shark and chain blade reeling in, both, more, oh man, Lightning Claw! I was like, oh, oh, energy away from Ignis and the Flame Shark could take him out! Holy crap! A big time comeback from behind in round three! I thought the Street Fighters, once they had the ninjas in the corner, they were done! But Ryu Cyclone Special saved them and got the ninjas right back in it as they take it 2 1. Boy, they let off those torrent of projectiles following that special, and OV and Borok lost their close combat momentum. And Ignis and Ryu doing what they do best with their spacing, eating away at the opposition's health slowly but surly until they can't do nothing. So the ninjas got their one little moment to get their act together, and they got all over it, and finally managed to obtain a big win here, a major that was much needed. And I have to clap for them, Ryu and Ignis, good job. Very few have beaten the Boss Street Fighter team, and now Ryu and Ignis are among those very few. <laughs> so good for them. OV and Barak still really brought it hard, man. And damn, that round one was extremely close. <laughs> I thought we were probably going to see a round four from my end with this one, but not quite. Ignis had slightly better defense than OV, it seems. And it ended up paying off for the ninja team. Well, a hell of a way to lead into our 3v3 main event of episode 65, if I may say so myself. Oy vey. <laughs> Anyways, folks. I'm going to clap once again, OV, Barog, Ryu, and Ignis. Excellent double set here to close out episode 65. Anyways, folks, stay tuned as I prepare our 3v3 main event. Need a drink, because, ugh, I lost complete control of that round three. It was crazy. Anyways, be right back, all. Ladies and gents, it is finally time for our episode 65 3v3 main event. Up first, it's Team Ginyu with Captain Ginyu, Jace, and Burner. It appears Raccoon wanted to take some time off and catch up on his soap operas, since he's missed so many of them. Apparently, it has forced Ginyu and his crew to migrate to 3v3 and start anew there. I wish them the best of luck. Speaking of that, 
they will need every ounce of it, considering who stands in their way right off the bat. And it's Team Bleaches, Ishiko, Renji, and Ikaku, who are coming off a monster win over the PPGs last season. Right now, the Bleach Boys are among the elite of this division, so the crosshairs are firmly on their backs for the long haul. Can the Ginyus cause some controversy in their 3v3 debut by being the first to defeat these nearly invincible and speedy swordsmen? Random stage, give us the goods. Hope you all enjoy! Alrighty, Jace, Burner, Ginyu, Ikaku, Ishigo, and Renji, leave us in awe with your awesome abilities! The 3v3 main event of episode 65 awaits! Team Bleach, Team Ginyu, WMF Rose, War Ring, engage, let's go! Alright, see Renji alone with the sword whip, ends up catching Jace pretty hard, Ishigo alone with the sword beam, Burner, Ginyu, and Deej all getting mauled in the corner badly! Ishigo charging in, ends up whipping that one, now Burner fighting back with the super fist, Renji cutting off with the, the sword whip, now uh, Ginyu laying into Ishigo, Renji getting sandwiched by Jace, now a big blast from Jace takes out Ishigo, and then the Ginyu's bringing it back really quick, Renji using arm first, ends up not, oh my god, I've got two Burners! Looks like Jace got grounded, Ginyu and Burner bringing it back as they down Ikaku! Fantastic. Holy smokes! Double Burner action and Ginyu managed to ground Bleach even after Jace dropped. That was intense, folks! I cannot believe the Ginyu's took a round off Bleach. I honestly thought Bleach had him locked in that corner, but no. The Ginyu's broke free, and they secure round one. Round two! Come on, Bleach! Battle back from behind! Alright, Reggie unloading with an oh, a big light wave from Ishigo's sword catching him right in Ikaku's multi-hit jump kick string, following Reggie's sword whips! Nice teamwork from Bleach! Now Ishigo gets in! Big sword beam catching off the Ginyu's! Now Reggie unloading with that sword whip! Man, the Ginyu's are getting bludgeoned to death! Oh man, Reggie with the sword whip, following Ikaku's string of jump kicks! Ishigo waiting from the land, carving into him with a big blade, and Bleach just basted him good! Epic massive comeback in round two as Bleach just flambayed him! on blades. Round three, let's see who will take this final. Here we go. Reggie loses the sword whip. Now what's going on here? A big super sword whip chain catching the Ginyu's. Oh, Captain Ginyu powering up. Heads up landing the grab on Ishigo. Pulls him under the ground. Jace gets knocked back out of the air by Renji. Now Ikaku, high by Renji, gets in with the spear combo and Ginyu. Now Renji attacking Jace from midair. The Ginyu raises those like Burner is dead already. Big light wave from Ishigo's sword following Ikaku's kick string. Ends up juggling Jace and Burner. And now Renji about to attack Captain Ginyu. Grabs him, starts headbutting him. Following Ishigo's sword swipe from behind it. There he goes. Following that sword whip for insult. And Bleach are right back in it, folks. They come back hard from behind and secure it 2-1 over the Ginyu Force. I'm starting to think it might have been a mistake for the Ginyus to leave 4v4. Getting the Bleach Boys for their first draw, but hey, they did force a 3. But man, Bleach did not give them any footing at all the last two rounds, though. For some reason, Bleach kind of lost control of that round 1. The Ginyus broke out of that corner, and I thought they were going to make it more of a fight, but Bleach... <laughs> They made sure to put they made sure to keep their feet on the windpipe for rounds two and three. Did not let them breathe at all. And that's what you gotta do to these teams. You can't let them gain an inch, or it's gonna be bad news. Anyways, good job for Bleach swiping another 3v3 win, building on that power puff win. And the Ginyus, I can only hope they secure a win at some point in this season in 3v3. I'm hoping they can do it. Anyways, a better fight than I thought we were gonna get here, so I'm pleasantly surprised. All six combatants did quite well here. Alrighty, we close out episode 65 on a pretty decent note here. So I hope you all enjoyed it, and stay tuned for episode 66 coming next weekend. And I should have more big battles coming your way. So until then, I'll see you all later. Peace friggin' out. Aww!